Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about sandwiches and filters. In acoustical strategies, we have two main issues that we focus on, noise and treatment. Obviously, noise is the structure that we build to keep sound out, but it's also the structure we build to keep sound in, right? So we have outside in, inside out, and then we have all this inside. So the inside is where we focus the treatment. The noise is on the outside. So noise is barrier technology. Treatment is absorption and diffusion, okay? Those are your two differences here, three and four. That's what we need to focus on. So we have all this airborne energy, noise, but when it airborne energy strikes the wall, it then turns into vibrational energy. And this is where people get confused. They try to use treatment, which is for airborne energy, pressure and reflections, as a barrier. And that's vibrational acoustics. And there's your difference. There's the reason people don't understand. And there's the reason people fail. So acoustic field sandwiches, we have a barrier system that we've devised. So we take studs and then we design multiple layer sandwiches. You know, the, the three lines that we Google has up there called sandwiches, you click on that and there's information in that. Well, we do multiple layer sandwiches. Usually there's mass loaded vinyl separating the layers of materials. The layers are different densities, different material types, but we're after density mostly. It's the material type that gives us the density. So we use different material types and we're trying to control the vibration. That's why we have layers, layers of the sandwich. So we're trying to reduce vibration. We're trying to take a vibrational signature like this and reduce it like this. And that's what we do. We run it through the layers. You run it through the layers, you run it out of gas. That's kind of how it works. So these sandwiches then are inserted between the studs in our wood frame and then all sealed. So each individual stud space creates a complete structure that's designed to deal with the frequency and the amplitude of your noise. Now, all frequency and amplitude of noise issues are different. So all the sandwich structures are different. There's where the complicated part comes in. That's why we have to measure all noise. We have to know the frequency and amplitude. We have to know it over seven days because we want to design our room so that it hits the peak amplitude and the lowest frequency in that day. And then all the other days will be good, right? If we get the biggest one, the other ones are fine. Frequency and amplitude of the sandwich design. Look at some of the different options here in sandwiches that we've used in the past. See, there's different materials involved. You can see the arrangement of the materials are different. The whole thickness of the sandwich is different. Sometimes we might need a two by eight stud, sometimes two by six, sometimes two by 10, sometimes two by 12, and then we can put carbon technology, the low frequency management in it too. So when our filters, that contain our carbon technology, you know, we need that eight to 12 inches of stud spade depth because that's the resonant frequency, right? 12 inch, we can get down to 30 cycles. Eight inch, we'll probably get about 60. It's because of the difference in depth. So the depth determines the resonant frequency, but our carbon technology inside determines the rate of absorption or the horsepower. How much does it get? Anybody can build a box that goes down to 40 hertz, but how much are you going to get of that 40 hertz? That's the key. And that's where a lot of these companies advertise, well, ours goes down to 30 hertz or ours goes, yeah, but how much does it get? If it doesn't get, if it gets 5% per square foot, what's that? Nothing. So our stuff does much better and you can see the data on our website. So pressure tuning every 14 and a half inches, just like we put sandwiches between the studs, our filters go between the studs too. And the depth of the filter controls the rate of absorption. And when you treat every 14 and a half inches for pressure, 
in the stud space when row modes are 36 to 48 inches wide on average you're really going after the pressure every 14 and a half inches that's when we build new rooms we can guarantee frequency response so that's one of the big benefits of being able to go after pressure every 14 and a half inches so two technologies the sandwiches for noise and the filters for low frequency pressure management sandwiches and filters hope this helps thank you thank you for watching this video and if you liked it please give us a thumbs up we also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter and then don't forget about our forum we have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and i usually get a chance every couple days to look at it there's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.